Sinking. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, to Chronicles. Or... Fuck! I fucked it up. Valkyria Chronicles, not Chronicles of Valkyria. I wonder if it's because it's like, it ends in the EL, like Chronicles of Narnia, and that makes me think of that all the time. Uh, Alright, so before we get started, I want to think of everything. So, this is the personal files. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them. There's even another page. Uh, so a lot of these are our soldiers that we've recruited into Squad 7. And occasionally, they'll get updated because their journal entries are Ms. Ellett, the journalist, reporter lady, that we met at the end of the last part. Uh, they are her interviewing our squad um, and writing about it. So there's, I'm not going to go through it all because look at how many people there are already. Weapons. Glossary, so yeah. We're actually gonna return to headquarters. Yes, we have to return to headquarters. Because there's some new stuff open. So first off, let's go to Castlefront Street. Um so yeah. Hey, hey look, it's her. It's Ellen. Speak of the devil. Duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Uh, good for you. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? I didn't really ask, but go sure. ahead. I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government uh, censors everything. She has a point. In a war, you're probably gonna get told to only publish the good stuff and not talk about anything that could possibly be bad for morale. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy She's not wrong. propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. It's a noble, too. noble cool. Sometimes you have to just so, accept this is my the truth, even plan, if it is bad. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. You keep up the good work, Miss Ellie. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your good exploits work. will feature heavily, I'm sure. All right. So yeah, like come by and have that. a read sometime. So yeah, we can read the writing on the wall. Which means we can get special new little mini-chapters. I think they're called sub -chapters. Or this, in, a, in an interview given on the 8th, a spokesman from the Central Galleon Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes will be on the Howl Force that has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the imperial, imperial incursion that claimed most of Gallia by last month's end. It now stands before the, great, the gates of Grand Gris. Grand Gris. It seems the militia will join the army proper on this bid to, the free, ca to free the capital from a siege. I, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city's walls. A very real possibility should this plan fail. Yeah, so we're gonna be the fucking human shields to the army because they don't want to sacrifice their soldiers. Because they don't like us very much. But, well. Uh, the Empire-owned and run terrorist news outlet reported on the 6th that Imperial forces have claimed the coastal federation city of Valula. If true, the Empire would now hold a, a supply route for Ragnite transit, greatly influencing their standing in southern Europa. Unlike the northern provinces, Europa's south lacks for Ragnite, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on Europa's southern coast means expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely now than ever before. The Federation has yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of Lua at this time. So I will read these because there's not that many, they're not that long. And while you're here... Yes? I want to put a book out someday, right? Cool. To put the truth cool. in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. Okay. So, I figured I'd ask you. Excuse you? Think you could find it in your wallet's heart? Yeah, to so... A girl get started? You can spend your hard-earned money from battle on, uh... On getting upgrades to your weapons and equipment, or your tank. Or you could come here and give it I'd make it, it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. But we're gonna I do it. Even well, though it I sounds like a dumb it, idea. But I promise it'll be all about you. We should be fine with money. I mean, it's See chapter nine. Stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So this is what I was thinking of that unlocks so about it? like sub chapters. Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. 
So yeah, we're gonna do it. Why not? Uh, help Ellet. <laughs> Thanks a million. So yeah. I think I plan on putting out new additions periodically, so drop by so and this check is it out. Often. Come back here often to check out the writing on the wall and pay Ellet to get her Especially book published. after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. So yeah, we'll, we'll trek back I'm here often. I'm counting on you out there, welcome. Probably every time you we come need back to, to keep me supplied honestly. with exciting material. So the other new area unlocked. A little bit more grim, the war cemetery. So this is actually if your soldiers die in battle, like I've mentioned, like, it is possible that they're gonna die. You can actually come here and visit their graves. Paying your respects. Sorry. I suppose that was a foolish question. It was. Why else would you come actually, to a cemetery? No, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. <clears throat> no. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? This guy's voice is I very find quiet. It sobering, My headphones standing really quiet here in front of reason. all those who died in the last war. I'm sorry. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Way to get Don't deep suppose looks. I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. I am militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Wow. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader. Hmm. Very impressive for a young man. <clears throat> well, you know, I do my best. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. That's actually a better answer. One wrong order from me, and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. Hopefully we'll avoid that. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity okay. to use them properly. <clears throat> Sorry, we can learn more now, orders here. I'll teach you sniper support today. Use so, it yeah, to request backup from can. allied snipers to snipe a single enemy target. Well, what is your decision? Sure, might as well learn it. Oh my god, that's expensive. I see. I hope we'll meet again. Jesus. That's way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's go to the training field. Welcome! Alright, train on! Let's see. Bip. Boop. Bop. Uh, why not? Because I know I can use them in the next. Encounter. Fight the bullet! No pain! No oh, gain! There's an encounter coming up. I don't know about this encounter. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to Come human! On, maybe our luck will keep up. Nah. Yes! Like it did. Damn, dude! The shock troopers. Okay, you've earned clear wow. for a new order. We're Put doing awesome. Use out there. You learned defense boost. This order raises one ally's defense. Cool. Uh, fuck it. Level up the snipers. And I think we'll just keep the rest of this. Put... Keep the rest of this experience for later. Good work, maggot. All right. <clears throat> Come back. Uh. R and D. Welkin, bro. I'm. Weapons, see if we can upgrade anything else. Nope. 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 <coughs> I'm not buying any other ammo device upgrades. Oh. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh. Can I buy something here, Lon? Oh, I bought that. Uh, 
let's buy the radiator upgrade. In chapter 9, I've gotten some weird ass shapes. Hello, well. Oh, and there have been some new Okay, so we got some more people. Let's take a look. So there's Montley. Uh, what is. Icophobic? Something to fear. Deathly afraid of pointed objects being around Lancer's, make... Lancer's weapons makes them hyperventilate, steadily losing each other. Holy shit, dude. Calm the fuck down. Uh. Freesha's actually pretty good. I've used her before. Now? I don't remember him being there. Oh, I didn't pick him because he was the lone wolf attitude. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, I don't know who to take off the squad in order to. Thinking about maybe Ted. It's not good for me, Ted, but... Actually, you have too much negative. I'm glad for the time we got to spend together. Just let me know if something comes up. Sorry, you know, but I'm gonna pick up Frisia. I'm Frisia, you're handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. I was vaguely sexual. Um, alright, so... I'll leave the command room now that we've Come back uh, tuned up needed. the squad a bit by substituting Yuno for Frisia. Uh, so let's return to, uh, let's return to book mode and start in chapter four. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. So, we got a new, uh, thing here. Elite embedded. Elite embedded. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is like a sub-chapter. So, let the interviews begin. Let's do this. I also updated the personnel tab, which we briefly looked at. So, yeah. Like I said, as you buy her Squad shit, you get seven more... Of Regiment three. You get more, My uh... First impression, good. More information about your soldiers and stuff. <sighs> it gets real in-depth. Like, it's part of the reason why you should... Command Sergeant Alicia it's why you kind of get attached to them and then you really don't want them to die. Oh, kind of like Fire Emblem. Lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her... Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. We're not Could be childhood friends. Childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We yeah. just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Hmm. Oh wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. <coughs> Looks like those so, two don't trust Gunther because much I'm not going to read her personal file. That could um, be good. Her reason could for Rosie really is good. it was her stage How name. She used to leave? be a singer in a bar. Right. The tank pilot, Corporal <clears throat> Sarah Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. Jeez, dude. <laughs> You couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than um, that. You're not wrong, you? Elliot. Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? Hmm. Well then? The truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Yeah, so that was just a whole little thing. We got more. So. Largo and Rosie. So this is her interviewing Largo and Rosie. Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys! 
Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. So yeah, this is a whole thing. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Because we're badass. Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? Maybe you should consider growing the rest of your beard in there, pal. And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's so this is kind of a way to also I got my get reasons. to a... Uh... Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. This is a, uh, a way to kind of get to know some of the troops. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. He's got a bit of a crush on our captain. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Yes, it is. What you want to start Look, about. I'm a busy guy. Haven't you I'm seen the magazines? All right, later, Largo. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie, can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to oh, sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. So yeah. Tell you what, though, some customers came from miles away and just to hear And now you're a professional you soldier. Sad story. But my oh. my, so I was <laughs> a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose, so thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others. Yeah, she's a cold-hearted bitch. I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair. Actually, she's racist. She's a cold-hearted racist bitch. So traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe. Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about them is all. So, it hasn't really been introduced, but that's a thing allergic, that's gonna... Yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. That's gonna pop up in this, uh, <laughs> in chapter four. Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chantus? They may be cranky. Yeah. Alright, so I think there's one more part of this. Or two more. Right, she interviews Sara and Walken and Alicia. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? Sara's very. A little freaked out stoic. now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. That's a weird Fly your phrase? brother? Can what? Can expound on that? You don't seem the type to have <clears throat> her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? You know, Wait, let's the same kind that brother and how sister are related by. your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. More like all the time. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. It means he's a weirdo. Have you not that met him? He's a very kind person. And loyal. <clears throat> Also Anytime a bit spacey. My heritage brought kind me of trouble, an idiot. He was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say. Why are you blushing? He's your brother. Great... Gotcha. I cut her off. Sounds I'm like sorry. you lucked out in the sibling department then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. I forgot that that's what she wanted to do. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. <clears throat> so she actually means... A little bit of spoiler. But she actually literally wants to fly. Like, she wants to create an airplane. Because apparently those don't exist in this world. So yeah, that's what she means by that. It's nothing weird. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? No. 
Hello, Miss Ellet. Hard at work again, I see. That tone of voice is like, I regret ever letting you near me. <clears throat> Didn't you already interview him before? Defensive. Oh, Alicia, out. I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. He's an idiot. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. She's not wrong. <laughs> I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, Why are I you never blushing? I thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. Yeah. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. What are you doing with your hand? Wait. Uh, that's weird. No kidding. Now, <clears throat> Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. Really? First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the first European War? War sucks. Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but Very I'm still you, just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. You're absolutely correct, Vulcan. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Also, a very true statement. Uh -huh. Prejudice isn't natural, it's taught. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Dude, well, uh, thank you're you good very dude. much. That's all I've got you're for you You're a bit you of an today. idiot, kind of spacey. And Great, well, we're done? Let's just I say strange. Get back to that fascinating insect again. He really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. Well, she's not. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Sure, whatever. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. All right, so now that that's all over, we can actually get the Operation Cloud Burst. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot that was a thing that unlocked, sort of. Um, we we will be. I'll try and get all of those and watch them with you guys. Squad Seven suppression of the enemy camp on the west bank gave us the foothold we needed. That's because we're awesome. Now we'll join the army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloud Burst to take back the bridge. Militia All right, what's the, will take what's the, the grand plan here? Crossing the bridge and attacking the eastern camp. What? That sounds like a terrible Captain, idea. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the army on this? That seems like a very the terrible plan calls idea. for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. What? So... Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? Excuse me? Baking I know powder? how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier too. Yeah, except when you were a militia foot soldier, you weren't being told to go run directly at the enemy encampment with all of its uh, defenses looking at you on a bridge with no way off of it, no way to flank, and just like, oh, just go do it. And, uh, but sometimes being a soldier means taking this, on tough uh, missions. This isn't tough Even or just dangerous. dangerous. This is suicidal. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Try... pretty much impossible. Captain Verat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? 
I don't mind, but what are you? Welkin! Yo. Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. Alicia, this better be a We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin, I, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's oh, throats. Oh shit, dissension in the ranks already. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. Have you tried beating the shit you out of them? want me to break it up? What am I gonna do? I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. No, that's definitely not a good solution let there. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. You're not wrong, but in this instance... Well, but... Mm. That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? You done fucked up, Wilkin. Sounds like he's got his hands full. He does. It's all part of growing as a team. I like that Faldio doesn't have any of these issues. Next in next episode. Let's do this. <clears throat> yeah, remember how she's a uh, racist bitch? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? You really have to ask, Lieutenant. It's yeah. either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her. Her type's got a bad reputation, and everybody knows it. No dark. You're just allowed. being a racist you cunt. Hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say, but I'm still a human being, the same as you. Besides, no evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me. So what? You're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it. That's enough. Okay, boss man. Oh boy. You won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that? Can't you understand? Uh. Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot greenhorn. You're an idiot. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now, if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, That's Largo. ballsy. But if my plan <clears throat> works, you'll take my orders and like it. It's real ballsy. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But, wait a sec. Also, well, she's okay. the second in command, so the squad would technically be hers. So, you know. There's that whole dilemma. Okay, yeah, so... These are... Extra little bits. We... We could skip right here, but we're gonna watch the plan. So, yeah, this is Wilkin. Wilkin? Yo? Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise, that's what's up. I'm sorry, Wilkes. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. Nah. It's nobody's Rosie's fault. Rosie's just a bitch. It's a war. We're Racist all on edge bitch. here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. <clears throat> it's an interesting That'd be great theory. If it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. That's the only part, Wilkin. <laughs> Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. What? Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is 
that even possible? Well, Ys, think you can make it by tomorrow? I wonder what the plan yes, is. Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. All right, so Wilkins come up with a grand master plan of his own to take back the bridge. So let's go see what, check it out. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right, let's hear this brilliant plan. I'm on the edge of my seat, Walken. Then it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? It is a bold request, but I mean, you are soldiers, so dying's kind of part of the gig in a lot of cases. One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. What? We're gonna fight the river? We we'll use the like fog fucking, as cover uh, as we cross the river. Shit, then James launch Woods? A surprise attack. And Family Guy? Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I've fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Alright. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look, see that over there? What's that? Grass? Missile reed. A tall aquatic okay. plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. It's a ballsy Shallow plan. enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. So how are we going to do this stealthily with a tank? You hear something? Yeah, I do. It sounds like it's, a tank. It's me. Holy fucking shit, it is a tank! I guess those guys got away. And are warning everyone about the about folks arriving in the tank now. The Edelweiss swims just fine. Fall in, Sevens! Who are you talking to? Alright, so here we are. Time to begin the battle. So I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, battle for the bridge. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. Okay. <clears throat> the enemy is stationed around the east end of the bridge. You have a powerful pair of advantage going, advantages going for you now. One, you're behind them. Two, they don't know you're there. How the fuck don't they know we're there? Strike them hard, fast, and make best use of that edge. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp located at the mouth of the bridge. It's possible the enemy will detect your approach as time goes by. Once they do, count on them calling for backup. Get to that camp fast if you want this to end pretty, Lieutenant. Many enemy tanks are stationed in the area, but some still have their engines shut down, meaning they won't attack you. Any inactive tanks whose radiators aren't glowing and whose cannons aren't in position can be ignored completely. Also, it looks like they've got tanks of extra ragnite fuel sitting around throughout the area. A gunshot should be able to detonate those and hopefully take out any nearby tanks or foot soldiers with it. Alright, so our victory condition is to capture the enemy base. Uh, we fail if 10 turns pass, Welkin dies, the enemy occupies Gallia's base camp, or all ally soldiers and reserves are killed. So, let's position. <clears throat> so we've got Welks. Uh, obviously we gotta have Leash. Uh, let's see, we're in the city, so... Bring you... I don't have anyone that's... I'll take free 
damage out for action. Uh, Rosie, you'll need the assault force. Rosie, uh... Take Salinus. And we'll take Edie, because Edie did real well in the last battle. Orgo and who else? Uh... Take a lease. Actually, strike that. Orgo should be fine. We'll take Dala. We'll take Nadine with us. All right, that way we can restock and prepare the Edelweiss as we move forward. Whew, all right, let's do this. Deploying. Operation Cloudburst is set to begin. I know you can all make this work. I like that you somehow know about uh, Walken's Grandmaster plan that he just randomly pulled off. And it just—it's now Operation Cloudburst. Take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad Seven, move out. Let's do this. <clears throat> That's everyone. Ready to move out, squad? Let's do this. You're crazy. You know that, right? Yeah, he's definitely crazy. Incoming message from Squad 1 leader Faldio Lanzet on the West Bank, sir. Enemy company in motion. Presumed headed east across the bridge toward our position. Because we weren't silent at all when walking around. Our full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. We're taking that camp so that's, before that's the cavalry the rolls round. in. Uh, limit is we have to take out the base before they get here. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Cool. Potentials. Every enemy, every unit possesses a set of innate abilities and its potentials when in combat under special set conditions, such as remaining HP, terrain type, the current turn number, and other factors. Squad 7 is made up of a broad variety of individuals, each with their own strengths and shortcomings to keep in mind. Yeah, I already know that. I already explained it to every the new people. Alright, so I think it's time to just push. Leash, you go scout ahead. Enemy unit spotted. Make use of the watchtower. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Enemy unit spotted. All right. Bip this guy. Nice. Hmm. Kind of upset. I thought I could take cover behind that. But we'll hide behind their own tank because fuck that shit. Uh, Frisia, you are gonna go up around the other way. So, go see what you can figure out, girl. Cause some havoc. Oh, god. You got this. One, two, three! Oh, ho, ho, Frisia. I knew taking you into battle was a good idea. Oh shit, that's a tank. Frisia, fall back. Oh boy. Er, yeah, Frisia. Alright. Rosie, lead the assault. I have faith in you, pal. So long. Yeah! Alright! Good work, Melville. I knew bringing you along was a good idea. Uh, that's bad. Shit. Uh, we're gonna retake control of Melville real quick. And reposition him over here. 
Same thing with Alicia. I didn't realize that. I don't know. That tank isn't active. Fuck. Fuck that up. Uh. So Katie. You're, you're with assault team, so go take up position. Engaging the enemy. Salinus. So that tank is active. Let's see if Salinus can hit that. No, I can't. Shit. Alicia actually might be able to. No matter the cost. I might have a great idea to bring out a fucking Oscar with us, but whatever. Alright. And you get up there, pal. We might need your anti tank expertise. Get up there. So Enemy sighted. Oh boy. Nice. Alright, so that was our first move of Squad 7. Oh, okay, now it's that tank. Let's see what it does. Alright, that tank missed horribly. Good for Largo. I kind of got my units positioned around those other tanks. See if that helps at all. What's it doing? No! Oh shit! That one bipped the fuck out of Largo. It's okay. Medics, uh, units whose HP have reached zero fall to the ground in critical condition and cannot be controlled using CP, leaving a unit in this state for three turns or allowing an enemy to touch them results in their being incapacitated. Except in very few exceptional cases, this means that, that the soldier is dead and unable to be used again. In order to prevent this, an ally must make contact with a downed unit before this tragic end befalls them. When a unit reaches an ally in critical condition, they call the medic who safely evacuates and restores them to health. Alright. Uh, Largo. Just watch this. I need you, buddy. This is your moment to shine, pal. Get him! Nice! All right, now move up. No the joke is still all right. All right, way to lead the team. Edelweiss, Here you we gotta go. finish that tank off. You wanna have any hope? There we go. All right. Good work, Edelweiss. Okay, so Frisia, move on. Ready to go. Found us one. Use the rubble for cover as you advance. Let's try this. Work, Frisia. Sabling back up. Try not to take any needless action. Enemy sighted. All right. Go around this way. Please Keep caution. low. Keep your head down. All right. Alicia, Look go ahead. with her. This does. Nice. That tank is now disabled. Just 
Watch Margo, this. get up there, take out that tank. Oh, we're doing good. Still all right. Okay, Lorgar doesn't have a shot on that tank, but... Shit. We gotta move Lorgo again. He's out you for that sniper. For that sniper. He's, uh, he's gonna fuck us. Been waiting here. We gotta get close enough for one of our units to take him out. Alright, Assault Force, move up. I'm on. Assault Force, you're going straight up the middle. Got this. Turn two. Oh, he got Rosie. Shit, he's so far away she can't even return fire. Oh no, you fuck. Better not, you dickhead. Okay, he didn't. All right, we really gotta do something about that sniper power treating. At allied camps, you can substitute out currently deployed units for soldiers waiting in the reserves. To send a unit to the reserves, move them to a camp, and press A once the retreat command appears on screen. If the units have returned to reserves, will have both HP and ammo stores fully restored and can be redeployed in a later phase. To deploy a unit from the reserve, select the camp in command mode. To see a list of available reserve units to select from, this costs one CP, and the number of units you can call out from the from reserve is limited to eight at a time. So choose carefully. So yeah, <clears throat> now that we know how the reserves work, Largo, you move up there, take out that tank, and see if we can uh, move in and assault that base. That'll be a good staging ground. Alright. You got this, Largo. Really, Largo? You fuck. Largo, I really needed you to do that. Uh, Rosie... Edie, get up there. I see an enemy. Annihilate. I see an enemy. Bip, 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 bip. All right, good work, Edie. That's what you get. She's doing so good. All right, we got another. I see an camp. enemy. Get down. Rosie, see what you can do. Not terrible, Rosie. That was actually not bad. My turn, okay? Alicia, I need you up there as well, girl. I need you to counter snipe. Let's do this. Uh, get him! It was a good effort. I'm on it. Melville, you push up. See what damage you can cause. Stay close up there. Yes! That's the sniper down. Dealt with. Man down. Everybody be My game audio is getting weird. Don't know what the fuck was happening there. Uh, Good wait here. I need you. I just ain't feeling it here. Alright. 
you're getting fucking annihilated, friend. Fuck sticks. That tank lit you up. I don't know where my game audio went. Hopefully it's recording still. Me See if you can take out that tank. Uh, maybe this. Closer. Get him, Freesia. Why do I have that fucked up game audio? That didn't work at all. Shit. Freesia, you duck. Try to take care of. Intercepted an enemy transmission. Good work, Isar. There's nobody left at their camp to respond. But we've cleared it out. Oh, this is bad. It's only a matter of time before they send in reinforcements now. Well, we knew this was gonna happen. Eventually. This is Alpha Camp. A patrol unit had a misfire. Condition green. Relax. We're fine. Good work. Understood. Well, you guys keep the fires lit till it's time for our shift. Over and out. Good work, Isar. <sighs> Apologies for acting without permission. No, no, you do that. That was a good idea. That was amazing, East. Between the squad's fast action and that fast talking, we saved ourselves some heat. Good work, Isara. Similarly, the, can the enemy can call for backup via their own camps. The only way to stop this from happening is to occupy their camps as quickly as possible. Which we did. Uh, we got in here pretty good. Shit. That tank could spell some bad news bears for us, but hopefully we can handle it. No! Shit. Alright, that hurts us a bit. I didn't expect that. Uh, okay, that guy's just fucking off, apparently. Oh, boy. That was an interesting tactic, sir. Bip him, Alicia. That's really weird. Where's my audio fucking out? That's gotta be my headphones. It's like popping in and out. I'll have to examine this after this recording. Shit's too tense right now. Get him. Alright. Return fire. Good work, Belleville. Oh boy. Second tank. Not phenomenal. I need the Edelweiss up there now. Oh, shnikes. That's gonna put the hurt on some people. Alright. So, that's not great. Um, Edelweiss, I need you up there. This lack of sound thing is real fucking shit. Use the rubble for cover as you advance. Yeah, kinda already doing that asshole. Show them what Galia's militia can do. Uh, I don't think I can do anything from here. We're gonna use another two command points to continue to move the Edelweiss up forward. Shit. The Edelweiss is slow as the dicks. Don't get pinned down. Fire back. I need to get it up there though. Fuck, I have to use another two command points. Uh, Melville, you've done gr done great work, but I need you out because I need this. Yoko, Grisha, move up. You're in the wrong way. Don't mind me. 
one. Medic! Good work, Freesia. So yeah, this is our first deployment of the Medic. Here she comes! I like that she they never bothered to give her a name. She's like the most important soldier in this fucking squad. Alright, Freesia, you got this. I believe in you. <clears throat> Come on, yes! Good work, Freesia. Next partner. Good work. All right, I think I only have one command point left. Uh, it's not. Rose is almost fucked. So I'm gonna use this command point to get her more or less to safety. Uh, let's get her over here so that she doesn't die. Shit, this is not going as well as I was hoping. We started off great, and then we got fucked. Hard. Sir, Gullion commandos have occupied Alpha Camp, sir. Uh, yeah, we should. What? Have. Alpha Camp reported their status screen not minutes ago. Is that yes, Flynn again? But thinking back on it, I didn't recognize the voice on the line. You didn't find that strange. Damn it! Feed me misinformation, huh? I want every last man we have out there. Bring me those Gullion heads. Really hoping one of those tanks moves forward and attempts to engage. Uh, aimless, because otherwise we're gonna get fucked. Oh god, Freesha! That tank really didn't like her. Get him, Edie. Edie didn't return fire. Not fantastic. Alright, we survived another phase. That's fine. We can do this. Alright, Yoko's here now, so we have some anti-tank. Entering combat. We have an anti-tank unit again. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear my phone dinging in the background, but it's D&D &D night and my friends are fucking group texting like a motherfucker right now. Alright, so... Fuck you. And let's park the Edelweiss Enemy here to uh, really just try and take the heat off our units. I'll take care of it. Alright. Oh, girl here. Shit, I didn't I forgot she was tap that. So she's getting buffed. Nice. We're gonna take control of Yoko again. I'll take care of it. And Blasting. Yes. Alright, Yoko, move up. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Oh shit, that guy can... Alright, I need to take out that guy. Uh, Alicia, how are you feeling? Okay. You're actually in great condition. Alright, this guy got nothing on us. Nice! Get back into cover behind the tank. We're gonna bring the engineer up and restock. On my way. What's her name? Yoko. So she can commence anti-tank maneuvers again. Are there any Safely. If I can... Shit. I didn't make it to her. Damn it. That's okay. She's now up here, so we can repair the Edelweiss and commence anti-tank okay. operations. Maybe she'll get real lucky. BIP! Nope, but we disabled the tread, so now it's fucking stuck there. I'll take it, if I'm being honest right now. Freesia, you're actually okay. I got it. Edie, you gotta you gotta be a bit of a workhorse right now because we've got a bit of work to do. Ready yourselves for the next. Moving her here now, Ready, but for your command. Uh, you need to need. Maybe this. Come on, yeah! All right, that helps. Good work, Edie. You your sacrifice won't be in vain, girl. Yes. Enforcements have arrived, but that's fine. I don't give a shit. 
Okay, that's a lot of reinforcements. Never mind, I kind of give a shit now. But that's okay. They ain't got shit on us. Edie is leading the assault squad. Oh, that guy got her in the face, but whatever. She took it like a champion. Why is she not returning fire ever? That's okay. She's doing good. She'll, she'll, she's a trooper. She can take it. I'm hoping that tank fucking ignores her. Focuses its fire on the Edelweiss. Uh, I'd be real fucking great if it would do that. Alright. So. <clears throat> Edie is about to become a fucking champion. Oh shit, that guy's definitely gonna attack the Edelweiss. Here it comes. Boo! Shit. He took some damage, but that's okay. We have an engineer with us. That's okay. We still have the engineer. Alright, let's do this. Engineering. We got this. Change to this first. Restock Yoko. Get behind the Edelweiss. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. And fire. And by fire, I mean repair. Thank you. Good work, Nadine. Okay. Entering combat. So you can run over your own units, so you kind of have to be a little bit careful. Bip. All right. Good work. I probably should have moved it up a little bit more. Yeah. Needed to Aunt Yoko. Come on, Yoko. You got this. <clears throat> you don't got this. Alright. Edie, it's time to go to work. The stage. You can do it. I believe it. Oh my god, you're getting annihilated. Oh shit, she's getting panicky. That's fine though. Come on, you got this. Yes! Alright. That hurts them. That's what you get. Way to overcome your panicky nature, Edie. You're doing great. Edelweiss. Entering combat! got this. Push them back. We can do this. Edelweiss. BAM! Nice work, Edelweiss. Alright. Yoko, finish it. Okay. Maybe not my greatest... Positioning. Alright, this is better. Come on. Also, that didn't finish it. Shit. Come on. We got this. We can do this still. We're not looking great, but we can do it. I believe in us. That's fine. You can shoot the Edelweiss all you fucking want. Just leave my units alone. Oh boy. Uh, how badly is that gonna fuck me? Not bad. Did he hurt himself? Ha! <laughs> you got this, Edie. Return fire. Damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> now that 
that's good. Okay. Feel free. Okay. To take this guy down. You got this, girl. There we go. Look at that. Hmm. Poise. Man down. Everybody be careful. Yoko, you can do this. I believe in you. Bam! All right. Man down, everybody be careful. Get you back behind the tank. All right. Freesia, you've recovered a lot of health from your earlier incident. Uh, I believe in you. You can do this. You've got this, girl. You can take out this asshole. Bip, 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 bip. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Uh, Edie? It's time to do what you do best, girl. Fuck people shit up! Good work. Alright. I think it's time for one last run from Edie. What? That's not. I can't. No! You got this, girl. Don't. Don't worry. You, you can do this. Okay, maybe you can't do this, but it was a valiant effort from a valiant soldier. Oh shit, we're coming down the wire here. Turn seven. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, we'll finish out this chapter and be done with this part. Good thing he sucks balls at shooting you, Edie. It's okay, girl. You can do this. Edelweiss, again, fair, but you're missing the point here. Wow, oh, that guy really wants to try and take out Edie, but he's not doing a great job at it. Not that Edie's doing a much better job at taking him out, but, well, fuck off, time's up. I don't have time for this right now. Uh... Oh, look at you go, girl. How little health he has. Oh, he died. Alright. Alright, so this is gonna be the final turn for sure. We got this. That's fine, three turns left. Leash, circle around. Edie's got that guy pinned down. You can absolutely fuck this guy's shit up. Or maybe you can't. It's fine, because he can't fucking hit you from the walls. Fuck it. Freesia, get in there. Watch me dance. You've been a huge asset so far in this in this operation, Freesia. I'm so glad I brought you. I picked you up to come here Good. and uh, help us. Alright. It's time, Edie. It. It's your time to shine, girl. You can do this. It's just you and him. Fuck. Uh, yes. Bam! What? That's not... I can't... No! Don't panic. He's all yours. I got it! Look at this. Can't even defend himself now. Look at you, Edie. You're such a champion. That's what you get. Man down. Everybody be careful. All right, time to occupy this fucking camp. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. 
just like that, the operation is complete. Ugh, just stick to the basics. Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. We sure did, Walken. Drawbridge control room secured, Welks. Excellent. Open it up, East. Let's see how their tanks like the river. Yeah, this is great. Yes, sir. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. This is like fucking part two. Oh shit, right. We did do well. Whatever. I say we did well enough. This is fucking something out of a cartoon. What they do. It's brilliant and it would absolutely work. Oh, what was that? Yeah, so much for your uh, your whole imperial shtick of controlling the bridge, because guess what, bitches? Uh, the bridge is up. It's closing. Get the fuck off. Yeah. Nice work, everybody. Ah, uh, just murdering everybody. That's also a very weird-looking drawbridge. I don't know if they make them like that in the real world or not. It seems unlikely, if you ask me. Alright, after the storm. Fuck NA, dude, we did it! Welcome to champion. He's actually really good at it. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and it fucking worked. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any Fine, so long as you listen to orders, I don't give a fuck that you're racist. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. That's sad. But I hope... I know the day will come when Darkson's can join society as equals. Oh, don't worry. Hey! Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. Let's do it. Lieutenant Gunther, so, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Yeah, I tend to get results yes. in Thanks fantastic to the ways. Hard work. We managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? I mean, technically my first taste of victory was taking the West Bank, because I fucking wrecked shit there. Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. Thank you for stating the obvious, Walken. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. Strange analogy, but sure, go for it. Alright, so one more episode for this part. Sorry, this is about all I can do. Aw, oh, she's throwing those little seeds around again. But maybe, once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Wildflowers, do your stuff. Aw, she's sweet. Alright, so yeah. Chapter 5, The Cloden Wildwood. That, uh, that wraps it up for this part. And I will see you in the next part when we tackle Chapter 5. Bye!